Who was Da Vinci? Da Vinci was this down and out, old, sad, pitiful, that didn't seem like he had a lot of life left in him. And for the first couple of days, he didn't. People kind of wondered why we were putting so much time and effort and money into him at his age and in his condition. We just feel like no matter what age you are, you deserve to be happy, healthy, and comfortable. So I think initially that's what we were trying to do, was just make him comfortable. And it turned out that he has so much life left in him, and we are so thrilled with that. Come on, Dave. Well, so we call him Dave now, because we have found that Da Vinci is a mouthful. A mouthful, but it's also a very refined name, and Dave is anything but refined. He's just kind of a country boy. So, we call him Dave, and with his renewed health, he is like a totally new dog. We're finding out things that he loves to do, which I don't even think he knew he loved to do. Such as a yo-yo. If you play with the yo-yo in front of him, he goes ballistic and just tries to jump and chomp at it. And you just hear jump, 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 and he like hops up and down. He just loves to chase things. When we come home, we walk in really quietly and try to find where he is because he's a little deaf, he has no idea we're home. And he is sound asleep on the bed and we can walk up to like five feet away and we'll say, Dave. Dave, no, no reaction whatsoever, but the moment you go, he picks his head up and he looks at you like the whole world just opened up to his face again. I just feel like you can't let a number determine everything. Yeah, no matter how old the dog is, I think they still deserve you know, the love of a family. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our last episode of Life in the Doghouse. And subscribe to our YouTube channel.